Hey guys, what's going on? Blue Monster in here, and welcome back to a video. Um, videos like this point are still going to get a bit rarer, but today we've got something different. We have some um, natural selection 2 here, but I almost forgot the name then. I freaking love this game, and I almost forgot the name. Disgraceful. But this game is really, really good. I've seen a couple of, people, a couple of other YouTubers play it, and it was um, 3. Um, at the moment, and I do, I play rugby, um, just normally anyway, so I played a rugby game today. I didn't do very well, but I did okay, and I kind of said, hey, can I get this as a gift? And they went, my players went, yeah, sure, why not? So I got it, and this is one of my first games playing, and I have to say, I'm not sure if I prefer playing as the marines or the aliens, because either way I end up having a good game or a bad game. As the marines, um... I do well up until I have to advance quite far. And as the aliens, I always play as the Skulk, which is like fast moving and that can crawl across the walls and things. And I only ever play as that because um, I just think it's really good and it's really enjoyable. Um, just like I like the Skulk. But mainly the top of this video is basically anything. I just, I just say, you know, I may as well do a commentary. I'll just do one, see how it goes, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. There's a couple of things I want to notice. First of all, for a couple of things I mentioned. First of all, this series I've been talking about for ages. First of all, called Mix and Match, then called um, Dan. I'm not going to do that because I thought about it and I went. If I really think about it, I can't really do much for that. Apart from a couple of glasses, and by that time I'm going to run out. So, what I'm going to do just here, I try to throw a grenade. I still don't know how to play this game much, so. <clears throat> but I'm going to bring back. Challenge Field. If you guys remember when this channel started up, Challenge Field was a thing, and I kind of I was kind of thinking, and I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do Challenge Field. It's a pretty damn fun game. And um, why shouldn't I do it? It's really enjoyable. Um, and it will still be live, except it will be better edited. And if at the moment I'm still trying to find a Battlefield partner to play Battlefield with, you know, somebody who is a YouTuber again and wants to play Battlefield with me. Um, so I'll sort of find somebody like that, and then maybe if they want to, they can join in. So if you guys play Battlefield and you're a commentator, or if you just play Battlefield and you maybe you want to be in a video of mine, then please contact me, and I will, you know, try and get you in a video or something. But on more topics, the challenge field will be basically what it was last time, and I'm this this will means any challenge. So you guys can set me something like. No headphones or anything, which for me is super good for you. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, you guys should have audio for this video. If you don't, something's happened, and it's hopefully not my fault. But I finally sorted out my audio problems. If you guys don't know, I use my HP VR 2 to capture my um, PC gameplay. And when I first started this, there was no audio. I ever had audio for you, or audio for me, and not for both. And thankfully, I found a video after searching like all day today after just after playing rugby. I searched all day, and finally found a video that actually told me what I wanted to know. And it works now. And I have my um, really good quality speakers up, um, and it, like, and you guys have audio as well. Um, so it's actually really helpful, and I really like it. And the HP over two working fine, and well, everything's going well. Also, though. Um, this game that's sort of natural selection. What I might do is start a series of live comms called Becoming the Master. Or, you know, something like that. Maybe Becoming the Space Marine or Becoming a Colonial Marine. Just a name, something like that. And I might do those up and coming to Challenge Field. Because Challenge Field now is going to be. It's not confirmed yet. I don't even know what date. I kind of just wanted to bring it back. But. That means no damn or mix and match, whatever I was going to call it. But yeah, it doesn't mean any of that. But I plan to do a couple of live comms because I am getting to the. Um, so I'm going back to school now. And I kind of want to do less Battlefield content at the moment because for you guys, um, I do a lot of Battlefield content and then Battlefield 4 come out and I do even more and it might be slightly boring. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing more content from different games, you know, things like Team Fortress 2. Um, I might get Counter Strike Global Offensive at some point. Maybe a couple of the Dawn of War games, because like I said last video, I'll really like Warhammer things. 
Um, obviously some natural selection. I might do just a couple of live comms and those. My friend Boswell X actually plays Team Fortress 2, so maybe he can join in. And he can do a couple of yeah, so if he keeps swallowing, I got a bit of a sore throat because I'm slightly tired. Um, because I was up all night last night trying to sort the audio. But yeah, mainly I just want to talk about this game, the natural selection and why you should buy it. This is an advertisement, this is just saying you have to buy this game. First of all, if you don't know, the objective is um, Marines spawn at one random point, aliens spawn at one random point, and uh, basically um, you go into what's called a ready room where you can walk through four different paths in order to choose four different things. So spectating, random, um, aliens, or Marines. And you walk through one of those and you've got to go into that team. If both teams get a commander, the game starts. And they're just here, these things, it was the first time I've ever seen them, I didn't know what the, what the hell they were. And I was still trying to get used to asking the commander for things, so... Thankfully I managed to get a med pack on for after a bit, and I managed to kill this one here, spoilers. Um, but, basically the whole objective is, is to go up and destroy the enemy's hive. Now, what's happened a lot of the time is... There, because this game, well, like I said, was free for like. Um, I think it's still free. If, if you're British, it's free till like 10 o'clock tomorrow morning or something like that. I'm not fully sure. Um, I bought the full game because so I played it for like an hour. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this game is amazing. I have to buy the full version. Just here, you can see me playing as the aliens. I'm playing as the Skork. Like Skulk, I think it's called, is he? Um, and I find a little flamethrower guy, so I just like to troll him. It comes up in the bed, so keep, keep an eye out for it, but I think it's not funny, but I think it's just kind of funny, because the guy doesn't know where I am. He sees where I am there, but then he doesn't after that. But anyway, you can... Basically, the map is quite big, and I think there's two maps now. They added a new one a couple of days ago, which is really cool, because the update was... The um, DLC was free, and also you didn't have to pay for it, which I think is really cool. But you're meant to go up and you can collect um, objectives along the way. And there's four bases you can capture. There's two main ones, which are the hives, and then there's like two more you can capture. And there's one map. There's one in the center, one on the left. If you're um, yeah, one on the left, one at the bottom, and then one at the top. So the kind of it might even be five, might even be on the right. But anyway, the I would um, the you, you always spawn in on one of the ones on the outskirts, you never spawn in the one in the middle. But the whole objective is you can do it tactically and push up and capture every objective along the way, or you can um, just bum rush the enemy after capturing a couple of objectives. And what's super annoying about the fact it's free sometimes is there aren't new players, I'm a, I'm a new player, but what's kind of different about me, not to sound like, oh yeah, I'm so much better than anyone else, but I kind of know how to play games like this. I mean, I kind of started off PC gaming, PC gaming for games like this. Um, so, you know, I kind of know when to push up and when not to. I still do mistakes because I haven't played a game like this in ages, but, you know, I kind of know more than a football marker would just go, yeah, she'll sure, just split towards the enemies, we won't do anything tactical, you know, we'll just sprint towards them and we'll get ourselves killed and possibly a couple of other teammates killed. But, um, that's kind of annoying because no one really does it tactically and everyone just bum rushes and you die instantly and quickly. But also, it's kind of annoying when you get a bad commander. I tried to play commander, but I kept getting asked for, by people to put things down in different places and I was like, I don't know what to do with... Um, uh, God, what do I do? So eventually I just went, you know, step down. I stepped down and unfortunately I stepped down as the game was ending. So we already lost by that time. But just here, what happened is we turned off the light power and now I'm in like a night vision mode and the marines had a torch, had torches on so they could see me. And this thing here, I forgot what it's called, but it, it's pretty cool. I get both these guys. I mean, I of them stand a chance. I use like hardly any health. And then there's one guy up here who managed to finish me. I think I edited before he actually killed me. Don't know how that happened. I think, he, I think the um, commander must have healed him or something. Okay, guys. Okay, the my capturing stuff for some reason ran out, and I only have like 
50 seconds left to finish off this gameplay, commentary and play gameplay. But yeah, you should seriously get Natural Selection. It is such a fun game and it is really enjoyable. It's still slightly difficult and you, you probably should do the training missions before. Um, I'm going to go back and play a bit of it now and do all the training missions. So I actually know how to play Commander. I know the tactics and things like that and I can actually do it a bit better. Um, but yeah, this is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your challenges down in the comment section below. I won't always go off your challenges. I'll go off a couple of my challenges as well. Um, but... You know, this challenge you would forget. And also, tell me for me to use a couple of live comms of different games, like this Natural Selection, maybe Counter Strike a little offensive, and it's a couple of other things. Um, believe it or not, I have a birthday coming up a bit, so I'm going to get hopefully a lot of money for that and a new headset, which I won't use the microphone for, but hopefully it will sound better. Thanks everyone, my name is Ruben soon, and I'll see you all next time.